Oh, you thought vocals was next. No, um, if I went last, no one would watch this webisode, but go ahead and put up the dislikes and end the video right now. You gotta hear bass. Are you tapping and I'm gonna break down? Put my sunglasses off. You were tapping? Tapping. doing pre-production with Mr. Tim Lambesis. Uh, it's actually, it's actually, uh, damn, dude, fuck. No, uh, it's the first time we actually done pre-production, so we actually got to go into the studio early with Tim Lambesis. Last time, like we got uh, our recording, our, our tracking recording engineers were kind of our producers. As we'd be recording, they'd be critiquing what we're doing and and give suggestions. It's the first time we worked with a separate producer before actually going in. So we all sat down in a room and talked about our feelings and 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 he made suggestions and tweaked little things and it, it helped out. And I think he coached the vocals too, so we actually had that outside ear helping us shape the song before we actually track the first note. So that 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 was a lot of fun. Helped us out a lot, I hope. When uh, the first record, the sound was I used a, just a direct line in with Zeus and then he had uh, three different reamps, I guess, like a, like a distorted snotty tone, the clean tone, and then a warm tone. And then last time with, with uh, Zach, we, uh, we had the head sound, have the nice warm tone coming out of the cab with the mic, and then we had the bass direct into a sans amp for the dirty tone. And this time we did just a straight clean signal and then we reamped it through the program using a digital sand sand. I'm a finger style player, but I practice with a pick as well. And the last two recording engineers let me record with my fingers, but both times it kind of sounded thin. Like everyone wants that super distorted sound cutting through the guitars and it just sounds just like clicks. So. Recording with Daniel, I know he records a lot of pick style players, um, so I tried I tried it, I did it. I recorded the majority of the record with a pick this time. And there are a lot of clean parts though that I got to use fingers, so I did both. So there's a lot of the fast, abrasive parts, because this is probably like our fastest record, I recorded with a pick. But then the open melodic heavy parts, I got where I get to lay back and actually rest on some notes, I got to play with the fingers, so there's both on the record. In 2009 on Thrash and Burn, uh, we went to Spain and one of the local bands were there, gave me, uh, gave me a handful of their picks and then recording this time, I was scrounging around for the same consistency of these green Dunlops that Cora was using and just happened to be that theirs were the ones. So this, thank you guys from Bravia. I used your picks for this recording. <laughs> Daniel would start off with one of these guys and then after lunch we'd take a break and finish the day off with one of these guys. So I mean Mark plays the perfect music on that show. Isn't that Mark Rice is so good on it? But the act I just actually like to do is like insane. I find that out. 